Okay guys, welcome back. In previous video, I just created our first SQLite application in which we just created the database. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you that how to add values or insert value inside our database that we have created in the previous video. So first of all, I'm going to create three added text for the three different fields that we created last time in our table. But as you all know that the value of the IT is auto increment. So we're not going to take it from the user. The next thing is name, uh, email and phone number. So I'm going to get these three values from the user so first of all i'm going to have three adder text for these values so i'm going to quickly create three adder text for our uh, username phone number and email okay so let's get started So as I have created the first edit text, now I'm going to create a separate resource file which will be used as a background of this edit text. So to create the resource file, let me click on the project, project, drawable, right click on the drawable, new drawable resource and here I'm going to create et border for our file. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use the stroke with the width of 2 dp and corner radius would be 6 dp. Okay. So here I'm going to put that background that is border ET border and let me have the padding padding would be 10 dp around it. So we are done with our first edit text. Now let me create two other edit texts for the username uh, for the email and phone. So we are done with our three edit text that is used to uh, uh, take the input values of username, email and phone number. Now I'm going to create a button clicking on which that button we will insert the value inside our uh, newly created databases. Okay, so I'm going to copy this button values and pasting over here and now I'm going to change the attribute for this button. So I'm going to say insert values into databases. Now let me change this ID. And this would be below of phone ET. And uh, we are uh, later we are going to change the uh, this on click attribute as well. As we have done with our uh, XML file, let me get back into our main activity file. And here I'm going to create. Uh, first of all, let me create a little space so you can see that in the very first step, you have to uh, connect the XML added text tags with the object of Java added text. So I'm going to say added text. First one was the username ET and then we are going to have email et and phone et as well now i'm going to connect these java variables of edit text type with the xml edit text tag so i'm going to say username tag username that would be username et then email et email et phone et phone et we have connected our java edit text type variables to our xml edit text okay so now i'm going to create a method now i'm going to create a method that will run when we click on our insert values into our database so uh, let me have public wide insert into database and now i'm going to use view make it clickable i'm going to use view and here first of all i'm going to surround this with our catch block then i'm going to use the toast change this to insert value so very first step we are going to have here is to create an object of our sqlite database class and we are going to initialize that with object of my database class and then then we are going to get the writable databases so first of all let me have to uh, uh, to execute the actually we are creating this object to execute the query so i'm going to say sqlite SQLite databases obj SQLite databases would equal to obj databases dot get writable database. So very first thing we are going to get is to check whether this object of SQLite database is null or not. So I'm going to say if obj SQLite object is not equal to null, then we will run this code. Otherwise, we will say database is null. Uh, next check we are going to have is that we are not going to allow user to enter the null value. So I'm going to say if not equal to username et dot get text dot to string dot is empty and not equal to email dot et dot get text dot to string dot is empty and then the third one is phone number dot et dot get text dot to string dot is empty then we are going to say we are going to run our code else we will say that we will have a toast and we will say 
please fill all fields the next thing is now i'm going to use the insert method so for that purpose first of all i'm going to get the values from the our header text boxes into our content of ob values object so i'm going to take content values equals to no content values and here i'm going to say obj content values start put put first one is name name and then we are going to use username et dot get text dot to string next one would be in our email so i'm going to say email et dot get text dot to string and the third one will be obj dot put and as this would be phone so i'm going to first parse it into an integer and teacher dot parse int and here i'm going to take the string value dot get dot to string that's it we have obtained all of our values from our edit text into our obj content values so next thing i'm going to run the query with the help of obj uh, object of sqlite database so i'm going to say obj sqlite database start insert here first of all i have to pass the object of name of our table so i'm going to get that table from here uni student okay so i'm going to pass that over here we're not going to have any where class so i'm going to say it is null and the third thing would be the values that we have stored in the object of content values and if this query runs perfectly then it will return us a number other than minus one so long check if query runs so if check if query is not equal to minus one then it means toast values inserted into database successfully else i'm going to say we are done with our insert values method and now i'm going to call this method onto the on click attribute of our insert values button insert into database so now let me run the application so our application is up and running let me uh, try to insert the null values okay it's saying please fill all the fields so it is not letting me to enter the null values so now i'm going to put some values check and enter the email check at gmail.com and let me put a dummy in value so insert values and please fill all fields it is saying please fill all the fields but we have filled all the fields then what is the problem so let me check what's going on into our code okay so uh, we didn't put our uh, the negation sign with this so i'm going to put the negation over here so this uh, gave me a chance to change one thing uh, let me set the values to null when we uh, inserted the values successfully our error text so i'm going to say set text null so we don't have to remove the previous values manually so email to add text this would be uh, null as well this would be null as well okay now let me run this again so the changes has been applied to our application let me run this again so now let me click on this button to insert values and values inserted into database successfully so you can see that our fields has also been cleared let me enter another value let's see and i'm going to say let's see at yahoo.com and let me enter some dummy values okay that's it next value would be as you can see that it is allowing us to enter the values so let me get back into our app to change the input type to number so that we can only enter numbers so let me say input type and change this to number and run this again so changes are applied it is only showing the numbers over here so i can only enter numbers in here that's it so let me insert this value okay values inserted into the database and next thing i'm going to say that Okay guys that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys that how to get values back in into screen from our databases so see you guys in the next video.